Hello everyone, I'm going to, this tutorial is about color range and I'm going to demonstrate how color, using color range can help you save a lot of time and accomplish a lot in a very short period of time in the right situations. Okay, so for this, it's a picture of a newspaper article I found online and I want to remove the background color. So if I ever print it, I won't have to print all the color with it because the printer is going to recognize the background as a white background because it's not. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to use the marquee tool, the shortcut is M. I'm going to select this area right here because I'm not going to need it and go ahead and delete it. I'm uh, working on the background image. And the marquee, the, while you are in the marquee tool, the shortcut M, you can right click and select color range to get to the color range menu or box. Or you can go up to select and color range. So there's two ways to do this. You can either select the background. As you can see here, when we select the background, it, so it, why, it makes it white it shows like the selected part like if I'm selecting the writing the white here is the writing in the small box it's a preview so I can either select the background or the writing itself and when you're in this menu you can uh, zoom in and out and move around you can uh, press space and move around also, you can zoom in and out by control and minus or control and plus. So I selected, I'm going to redo that again and select. So I only clicked that one spot right here and it selected some but not all of it. So I want to increase the selection range of color. So what I'm going to do is push on shift and select more of the black color inside any letter. And if there's a range of colors that they all really kind of look the same, you can select from different locations and that will help the accuracy of cutting out what you really want. Okay, after selecting what we want, you can either reverse selection if you are selected a text so you select the background by control shift I that will reverse the selection and that will allow you to delete the background as you can see <coughs> it, this is the end result you can uh, of course always edit these extra s small spots over here so I'm selecting the erase tool it shortcut is E or it's right here erase tool and of course I'm using the white color so my background color is the eraser or I can even use a brush shortcut is B to rather instead of erasing from a color I'm adding the same color of the background over it and this will require you to have the back the foreground color the color that you desire to add you can switch between the two colors the foreground and background by pressing X and if you had the different colors let's say in your background and foreground color thing down here and all of a sudden you want to you want to start working using white and black you press D and that switches it back to black and white if you press D again it's not going to reselect the colors you already had before this is only to return the selection to black and white and just another thing I like to add if you want to get rid of all the extra around the top so I'm going to select the marquee tool 
if I want to get rid of this top part here or this here, I can either select it with the marquee tool, copy it, and open a new word, a new document, and then paste it. And if I want to do that, I'll uh, Control C and then Control N for a new document, and then I'll complete information there, and then I'll hit Enter, then I'll Control V. That will automatically give me the size I need, the size of document that I need for the image that's in my clipboard. Or I can uh, use Crop, which is right here, or the shortcut is C, and I can select the area and modify it, and then after I'm done, I can hit Enter, and I have the part that I want. And let's say I want to reverse everything I've done and for what for any reason it is I can you can go to file and revert shortcut is F12 so now we have what we started out with thank you very much for watching please subscribe and leave any comments questions anything